parade of sleaze bags because Jesus fucking Christ. This is another just depressing aspect of this week is the parade of scummy sleaze bags that just waltzes around our government and is in leadership positions. Matt Gatz, the Republican congressman, is that what he is? Yeah, yeah. he's a congressman, I think. He's like a representative or some shit. Yeah. I've been trying to ignore this story because I've never liked the look on that guy's face. He, he is exactly the kind of scumbag I would imagine him to be just based on everything going on with the face. <laughs> he looks like the kind of guy that would share your nudies with his buddies and laugh about it and pass them around. <laughs> or the yeah. kind of guy who would... <laughs> uh, come up with a point system for <laughs> s- like sleeping with di- various members of your administration. Yeah. And- this is exactly Start a sex game, basically. He looks like the kind of guy that would roofie you at a frat party. <laughs> totally. He is definitely that guy. No offense to Matt Gatz, but you look like the kind of guy that I would stay very far away from. And probably What's the Uber driver who tries to hug you after you <laughs> Ew. That happened to me one time. Ew. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I let him hug me. Ew! <laughs> it's easier. It's easier. Ugh. Just take it. Yeah. Just be silent. Take no. It and... Have you learned nothing from these girls? Who are Go like, shower. Yeah, I've that learned noise. that they don't know shit about how to reject a man and stay alive in a dangerous situation. <laughs> you take that hug and you hope you don't get raped. <laughs> I should be a motivational speaker for teenage children. <laughs> Men really don't understand what it's like. No, because <laughs> no. you've got to coddle their ego. Uh-huh. And like men get weird when you reject them and you're alone. <laughs> 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 like Matt Gatz, who knows? All right, then we have Hunter Biden has a memoir and is on a book tour and laughing about his shenanigans with fucking Jimmy Kimmel. This reeks of... Cuomo on his book tour while the olds were dying in droves in his nursing homes. Doing a victory lap. Yeah. yeah. You're just, like, what, just, five days sober and you're on your fucking book tour about how to get sober? I hate that they're trying to rebrand this guy as like the picture of sobriety, first of all. The most insidious drug for me, and I think for many people that deal with addiction, is alcohol. You've had a hard life. There's no question about it. Second of all, laughing about how you maybe had ties to a foreign government and ha ha ha, that laptop, I don't know if it was mine. We know it was yours. It's all sketchy. And Jimmy Kimmel just laughing with you and gaslighting all of us about this is nauseating. And when they ask you if that was your laptop, you say you don't know. I really don't know. And the fact of the matter is it's a red herring. And it's as gross as the pictures of Hunter with those freaking prostitutes, mostly because I feel bad for that poor dog that's looking at the camera. I don't want to shame drug addicts because I have been one. I. It's also funny, too, because he's like, yeah, I, I looked through the carpet to find drugs. Yeah, no sh- that's called being a drug addict. Like, you're not special. <laughs> yeah. and uh, But it was just that whole, like, oh, I can't remember with the laptop uh, if that laptop was mine because I was on so many drugs. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know. I don't know if I met Donnie Jr. because I've been in some dark places. Do you know Donald yeah. Trump Jr.? No. Never met the guy. No. Wow. I've been in some pretty, pretty rough places. So, like, it, it, Hunter gives me the same feeling that Matt Gatz's face gives me. (laughs) We are a nation of scumbags, and proving that is our next story. Bad Bobby (laughs) broke OnlyFans record by making $1 million in six hours. Cash me outside. Cash me outside, how about that? She's cashing it all She's cashing it outside. She's the girl who went viral on Dr. Phil for saying being just a little punk ass bitch with her mom, and when she was like thirteen. When she was thirteen, and then she she went viral, took that viral fame, became a rapper. These hoes be fake balling. And then she was teasing her fans for years as she approached turning eighteen with an OnlyFans account. <laughs> Apparently, there were all kinds of scummy, creepy little Hunter Biden and Matt Gatz types <laughs> who couldn't 
and wait for her to turn 18 so that they could go rush and donate to her OnlyFans, in which she made a million dollars in six hours. Uh-huh. I was like, I've lost the will to live. <laughs> here we are, working for you, the people, out here. This is our 53rd episode. <laughs> We have not come close to a million dollars. 53 hours plus we've spent. Plus all the hours editing and writing. Yeah, it's like 150 hours and we've made exactly $1,600. We're grateful for all of you, though, subscribers. Those of you who do donate to us here at Fetacy.com, we appreciate you. And we know that you're not scumbags, or you're a special kind of scumbag, the kind of scumbag that we are, who sits on the fence and laughs while the world burns. (laughs) (sighs) It all reminds me of when I got called a scumbag in a sex call right before they gave me a new name. I had to yell in front of a whole group of people, I'm a scumbag! My new name was Prem Sarita. Uh They break you down before they build you back up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It means river of love. Ah. So after he called me a scumbag, he... Gave me a pretty name. And then wanted you to be his sex slave. (laughs) Take the name from the sex guru and hope you don't get raped. (laughs) 